First up, though, this morning, we're talking about sugar cookies because they're truly a must during the holidays. The problem is baking them perfectly is far from a piece of cake. So we're going to give you some simple secrets to mix up a scrumptious batch in no time. We have James Shen here. He is the food editor of Country Woman magazine, and we're super excited to have him here because it smells absolutely oh, incredible. Oh, so sweet. Yes. Well, Thanks for being here, James. Well, thank and you very much for having me. A good it. sugar cookie is really tricky. There are a few tricks, but it, it's actually a really simple cookie, but there are a few tricks to get them actually working really well. I'm okay. glad. I've got yeah. some family members that make them really well, but I have to admit I have not tried it myself. So I know that these are tricky. Your first rule is don't be too touchy. What does that mean? Don't be too touchy. What we mean is when you're mixing the dough, mm -hmm. Mix it as little as possible, just until the, the dough comes together. Because the more you mix it, the more the protein and the flour develops, and you get a really tough cookie. It gets tough. Right. So oh. don't over mix it. Right. Okay, and do you mix with the spoon, or do you actually mix with I your mix hands? I mix in the mixer. Okay. Uh, so, and, so we've got so the dough here. So you can still use a mixer. You can use a mixer. You can mix it by hand, whatever. Okay. I find the mixer's a little bit easier. Why yeah. do you say stay cool? Stay cool because what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the dough and then chill it. So the butter that you've softened or the Crisco or whatever you're using um, will kind of seize back up again and make it a little bit easier to roll. Mm -hmm. If it's too soft, you're just going to like punch through the dough. It's and like make, glue you're rolling yeah, out. It's going like. to stick to the counter. Yep. So we want to chill this as much as possible. Okay. okay. When you are rolling it out, only pull out enough that you're going to roll out at a time. Leave okay. the rest in the refrigerator. Oh, okay. 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 Good tip. And then you say avoid sticky situations. Right. So easiest thing, lots of flour. There okay. we go. Okay. <laughs> I love yep. it. Right. And That's then, why kids love to help with this right. too because it's yes. okay to be messy. Exactly. So what I normally like to do is just a small amount. Yeah, because you say start small. Mm -hmm. Right. So okay. we're not going to use too much. Nice okay. rolling pin. Start from the center and just rock back and forth. And you want to keep turning it so we don't stick to the bottom. Okay. Mm -hmm. The trick on this one, you just want to make sure it's even. Okay. Whatever the recipe says, thickness, whether it's a quarter of an inch or three-eighths of an inch, that's great. Okay. Use a ruler, whatever. Okay. I always just try to get it the same consistent or the same thickness. So when I'm baking them, they all come out the same coloring and I know what the time is. Okay, okay. good. So we're just going to get it. Yeah, because your next tip is create an even playing field. So that's what you're doing is just rolling right. out real even. Yep. Right. So we're gonna, we can see that our dough is pretty even here. Yep. And you want it pretty thin, right? About three-eighths of an inch is the max. Okay. Any longer than that, and you're going to start to get more of a cakey cookie. Gotcha. And we're looking for something that's still Can we do got stars? a little chew. Sure. All right. And you All say right. to get a clean cut, you've got a trick. So we're just going to... Oh, did you see that? Smart. Okay, yeah. just watch what he's doing there. I've never seen anybody do that. But when he says get a clean cut, what he's doing is taking the cookie cutter and just rubbing it in a little bit of the flour. Have you ever heard of that? No, and I've, I've never, never done it. I've never seen anybody do that. And that makes it better? That makes, well, it makes so the dough's not going to stick to our cutter. Look at that. And so I hope my mom's yeah. watching. That was perfect. Right. That is so Do it cool. again. Do, Do it, it again. again. Do it again. Right, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't have to redo it. It's just there's enough on it for well, that second one. You did one. kind of Almost redo it a little bit. Oh, okay. And then the, the fat from the cookie dough is going to start to adhere to this. So okay. it makes the flour stick a little bit better. That's awesome. okay. smart. All right. Another tip for even browning. Mm -hmm. So if you look at okay. our cookies, we've got They're a nice perfect. little golden These brown. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll, I'll hold that yeah, up. Yeah, hold that up. So, that is a perfect cookie. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. All right, I'm so don't send browning. us any emails. I'm getting my nails done today. <laughs> yeah, that's why right? I didn't touch them. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I got mine done last night. Yeah, because you yep. say get out the tools. <laughs> so what we're going to do to get those even browning, we have to look at what our pans are. Yeah. So okay. we, we've all got these. Might have been handed this down like, from yeah. grandma. It's yeah. like they're a little on the dark side. Yeah. yeah. They're actually going to make the cookie brown faster. Oh. Is that good or bad? Not necessarily a good thing okay. when you're going for a cookie like this. Gotcha. Okay. So I tend to go for more of a lighter, lighter okay. pan. Cleaner, lighter right. pan. Okay. I love that we have a guy here telling us I how know. to make the Thank perfect you. sugar cookie. Uh -huh. That's awesome. Making me happy. <laughs> we always line it with Parchment paper. Okay. At least I do. It makes the cookies not stick. Oh. You don't need the, the cooking spray. Okay. And it also insulates it a little bit. So if you do have the darker pan, make sure you use the parchment paper. Okay. Okay. okay? And All then right. 
to help make sure that our cookies stay intact, if you've got more of an intricate design than our stars here. I was going to say, though, your perfect. stars are perfect. They would not have fallen Seriously, apart. Seriously, all the cookies that you made look like they're from a store. They're kind of ridiculous. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> or a magazine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. They're perfect for a magazine. And that's one of the reasons then you say keep it simple as your last tip, right? Right. So a lot of times if I'm doing a couple of different kind of cutout cookies for Christmas, I'll pick one shape for uh, the sugar cookie and then I'll do another shape for a molasses cookie and things like that. Oh, that's okay. nice and to so decide then everyone that. can look at them. But if you're just going to do one rollout cookie, then pick a couple of shapes. Okay. Keep the colors simple. Uh, it, you know, your, your cookies over there that are f now fully decorated are beautiful. And, and I think that's an interesting tip that you said, because kids want to, you know, let them do what they want. <laughs> but if you really want them to look presentable or give as a gift, keep it simple. Pick, like, single colors, you say. Yeah. Um, keep the, the, the cutouts pretty simple. Um, and, and maybe even save a few that are plain so that if you have a party or something, right. guests can yeah. decorate. Right, because I tend to look like a lot of frosting. I, I don't I'm not either. a sweet kind of person. Uh, well, I'm a really sweet person, but uh, <laughs> I don't like to eat a lot of sweets during the holidays, so I'll leave some of the cookies plain and not frosted. Okay. But when we are frosting them, I do like to keep the frostings pretty simple. Mm -hmm. We've just okay. got a red, green, and white. Okay. Easy. Um, so if you're going to have kids do this, maybe do two colors. Yeah, maybe do two that, colors. <laughs> I've known when I've done it with my niece and nephew, they'll grab, if I give them five colors to choose from, all five are going to go in on that cookie. Yeah, and whatever so. they have, their mouth will be that color. Exactly. So, <laughs> like, know that too. We're going to let you go ahead and decorate one now while we put up the information yep. for Country Woman okay. Magazine. Kids, people can subscribe online. They can find you at countrywomanmagazine.com. A great issue for um, December for the holidays to check out. And I just love how... Um, Easy. Easy. You made it to to, per, well, to cook and bake a perfect sugar cookie. I'm going to hand this to you right. and show you how easy it is. That's when good. When you're okay. piping with a piping bag, squeeze it from the top. Just give the, the top a little thing just to like close toothpaste. the Oh, yeah. That already in, came out. And then just squeeze. Perfect. And then okay. when you are frosting it, you don't need a whole lot on That's the easy. top. You just kind of outline the shape. Mm -hmm. Fill it in a little bit. You don't even need it perfectly. And then you just a little offset spatula can smooth out the rest of this. Perfect. Thank you and so you much for that. being here, James. We sure. appreciate it. You are it. awesome. That's incredible. That was great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Love Make it. us hungry. Up next on the morning.